Hey there, I'm Kurt Ballou. Today I'm gonna to show you some of the presets we created for my Tone Hub pack and AB them with the original sounds we used to create the pack. All right, just a couple caveats before we get started. Um, we're gonna be listening to stuff in the original Pro Tools session that I used to capture all of these tones. And as a result, um, the numbering that you see within the Tone Hub pack does not match the numbering of the audio regions in Pro Tools. So if you're looking for a specific sound that you hear in this demo, check out the number in the Tone Hub pack that's on the screen and not the number of the audio file. And additionally, there's a little bit of a, of a volume discrepancy sometimes between the um, original file and the traced sound. So uh, just bear that in mind as you're, as you're sort of as we're running through that AB, that the, the volume might not match perfectly. All right, so um, it seems like uh, semi-clean Marshall JC-800 is probably the, the, a good place to start. That's sort of my basic, basic tone and a great pedal platform for me. And I think a lot of the things I do when I'm getting guitar tones is really like setting up a, like a semi-clean sort of vintage -y sort of amp and then seeing how hard I can push it with various pedals. So. Um, the, the Marshall um, 800, which is always a go-to of mine, um, here's what the mic sounded like. And here's the trace. So you can see on the screen as I solo each track, it's going between the track with Tone Hub on it, which is the, the DI track and the uh, recorded microphone. Um, so that's the basic clean tone. And then let's hear that same amp with a couple of my favorite pedals. Um, so like the SBD is one of the uh, God City Instruments pedals that um, works really well with that amp. Um, so here's that, here's the mic and, and then the, uh, the trace. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna try to ride the volume fader a little bit to try to level match stuff as we're doing this because they don't always match up perfectly. Um, but the but within the uh, Tone Hub pack, they're all fairly consistent, which is what our goal was in terms of output volume. Uh, another one, um, really different sounding pedal with the same rig is the uh, GCI Onslaught. <laughs> So it's tracing it really accurately. Now, I know um, a lot of people are gonna be interested in some of the HM2 kind of tones that I get. And, uh, cause I know that that's kind of a calling card of some of, some of my recordings. So let's check out, let's check out a couple of those. So I also really like the JCM 800 2205, which is the channel switching version. Um, and that, that actually sounds really good with HM2 sound. So here's the, um, I know I'm doing a lot of GCI pedals, we'll get to some other stuff eventually, but here's the, um, the GCI Jugendstil pedal. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that, that works really good. Um, also with this, um, one of my other favorite sounds with the, um, the 2205 is the um, electrical audio, electronic audio experiments Halberd pedal, which is like a pretty transparent uh, transistor-based overdrive that I like a lot. Um, and I use that all the time on guitar and bass. So let's hear, let's hear that one. That's a good, heavy, warm kind of guitar tone. Um, one of the other neat th things about, um, about the, uh, 
tone hub is how well it handles fuzzes and sort of darker, murkier tones. You know, I think when you think of of amp modeling, you tend to think of like modern metal tones first, but this thing actually does a really great job at getting some spongier tones. Like, like I've got this vintage orange OR80 and it was able to like get that thing pretty good too. So let's check that out. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. That's not even a pedal in front of that amp. That's just the um, the FAC control um, on two. So it's letting a lot of bass into the first tube stage, which gives it that sort of spongy, fuzzy sound. And you can brighten it up a bit and make it a little bit more responsive um, by rolling off some more bass at the input. So here's the FAC control on five. <laughs> So still spongy and gooey and, and cool and like, you know, classic rock sounding. And um, I don't hear a lot of that stuff with, um, with, with modeling amp. So it's awesome that, that the tracing amp can, can capture that stuff. While we're talking about fuzz, one of my all-time favorite fuzzes is the Zvex Fuzz Factory. So I did a trace of that running into a Trainer YBA3 amp. Let's check that one out too. Actually, let's hear that same amp clean just so you can hear how much that pedal actually does. So yeah, really great sounding vintage Canadian amp. For a long time in Converge, um, I like to use an Ampeg V4 Live. It's just a super ballsy, super loud amp that um, also sounds really great in the studio. And it's a really good pedal platform. It's a great amp to push. Um, so my sound for a long time was the Providence Stampede distortion pedal uh, pushing an Ampeg V4 and a Marshall JMP. So here's what that Stampede sounds like pushing the V4. Super accurate trace on that one. Let's do one other pedal um, out of the same amp with the you know, same settings on the amp, but different pedal settings. The, um, the Dunwich Amp Nihilist, which is a, uh, the version that I have is the first one. It's a, a no-knob HM2 clone that also has an all-pass filter um, that's, that's switchable to take the HM2 sound even deeper. <laughs> So one of the awesome things about this is the stomp feature, you know? So like for this HM2 sound, um, you know, they're using an HM2. So if you want to adjust that tone a little bit after the fact, you totally can. So let's try that a little bit. <laughs> There are no shortage of good HM2 sounds in this pack. 
So in recent years, one of the most commonly recorded amps in my studio is this sort of weirdo thing from Belarus called the Sparrow Sun amp. It was made by a guitar shop over there, and I think there's you know less than 10 of them in the world or something, and I'm fortunate enough to have one. Um, I usually put some kind of dirt pedal in front of it to push it extra hard, but it's like a bright, a good bright high gain kind of sound. So this is what this, that amp sounds like clean, which is not, clean for me is not actually clean. So there's that. Um, but then, like, I like to push it with uh, with some pedals, like um, like the Boss OS2 is an old favorite of mine. Like all the early Converge stuff and all the Caven stuff is Boss OS2. Um, it's a cool, very mid forward pedal that gives you a smooth but saturated distortion with a lot of articulation. So here's what the Sparrow Sun sounds like with the OS2 pushing it. <laughs> So yeah, super, super accurate trace on that one. Um, and then finally, let's hear one of my other favorite pedals is uh, one of the DIY pedals that I make uh, called the Face Fuzz, which is surprise, similar to a fuzz face, but you know, silicon NPN version of a fuzz face. Um, that works great with the uh, Sparrow Sun. So let's hear that one. In addition to the guitar sounds that we traced, we also got a lot of killer bass tones. And I'm gonna show you a few of those now. So let's hear the mic followed by the trace. Yeah, sounds good. Um, with a lot of the bass ones, I find myself backing off on the gain on the tracing amp just a little bit after the fact to, to clean it up and add a bit of punch. Um, tweaking the bias setting or also the resonance setting um, in the tracing amp also can be helpful for making sure that the bass traces are super punchy. So in addition to setting up a bunch of bass rigs and capturing a bunch of fresh bass tones, I was able to capture some other tones from albums I had worked on previously. That one turned out really good. One of my all-time favorite bass amps to record is a Trainer YBA3. And for this pack, um, I recorded sounds with it with a bunch of different pedals and out of both an Ampeg SVT 8x10 and a Mesa Road Ready 2x15. So let's check out a few of those. We'll start with the clean version. So that's clean. Now we're gonna add in the uh, a, a little muff pedal made by um, by Bridge City Sound. Cool. All right, now let's hear that same amp with some pedals, but using the 215 cab. 
So here's the YBA3 with a 2x15 using the Electronic Audio Experiments Halberd Overdrive for, for dirt. <laughs> So cool, warm, kind of overdrive bass sound, which I like a lot. Now let's hear it with a GCI Nojo fuzz. Yeah, sounds cool. Good stuff.